All right, guys, so today we're going to go over this expressions quizzes that I gave you guys so you can get some prep and review. So just take the quizzes and then pay attention to what I do to figure some stuff out. So this first problem is asking you what the coefficient on the W term is. So first, let's find the W term. So where's W? There's W. Um, oh, you can click on the drawing tool. Use a Nimbus today uh, to record this instead of my usual setup. Uh, why isn't that working? Huh. My pen tool is not working, so any math is going to be with my mouse, so I'm sorry for that. So, this is a W term. What number is there? You don't see a number. So you're like, there's no number. It's zero. Wrong, because zero times anything would be zero, and you wouldn't even see the W. So, you ask yourself what number represents how many W's there are. How many W's are there? There's one W, so that's a negative one W. So that's my answer. And let's, let's hope I'm right. Oh, come on now. This thing's. There we go. So, coefficient in front, put a rang on it. I really enjoy the memes here. Ooh, I gotta cut that out. Um, the coefficient on the x term. The x term. So, find the x term. Well, there's two x terms, but they. I think they're trying to be pretty obvious that it's really this one, not the negative 4x. They would have put that. Again, what number is there? There isn't one, so you might think there's zero or there is none. You don't see a negative sign, so it's not negative 1. Um, it's going to be positive 1, so there's only 1x. Keep going. Oh, i got to move my face. We're on the move. All right, so write an algebraic expression to represent the perimeter of the rectangle. So you know that rectangles are, the perimeter is 2L equals 2W, right? So 2L, uh, I said that wrong, plus 2W equals perimeter. And again, I'm writing with my mouse, not my uh, normal pen. So this is gonna look worse than normal. Um, so we have our length, we have our width. Well, to do this, you need to plug it into the perimeter formula. So it's P equals 2L. So what's L? 2W minus 3X plus 9. And then you add that to 2 times the... This is not... I'm going to write it right here maybe. 2 times the width. So I'm going 2L. I already did that and I'm doing the width. Plug this in. All you're going to have to do is simplify at this point. To get the actual perimeter expression. So you're going to use what you know about distributed property and combining like terms to figure this out. So we're going to distribute the 2 in both cases, but it's 2 lengths and 2 widths, so we're multiplying by 2. Um, and we're going to get P equals 2 times 2W two is 4W. 2 times negative 3X is negative 6X. 2 times 9 is 18. We're done with the length, and we're going to add 2 times 6w is 12w. I'm, hoping, I'm trying to fit it in before I hit this like imaginary wall here. That's not letting me write. It doesn't make any sense. 2 times negative 2x is negative 4x, and 2 times negative 10 is negative 20. You might say that's your answer, and you could technically be right, but you need to make sure that you simplify. So we're going to combine all like terms. So I got my w, I got a 4w, and I'm going to change my color. Uh, a 4w and a 12w is 16w. We got a negative 6x and a negative 4x. That's a negative 10x. And we got a 18 and a negative 20, which is negative 2. So perimeter equals this expression. Now, if you knew what w and what x were, you could actually get the value for the perimeter, which you don't. So we're going to look for this answer. And we don't even see the answer, and I did more work than I had to because I wasn't even paying attention. They didn't simplify it, which is kind of a weird question. However, we're just going to go with this then because it's got to be it's got to be this one because it repeats, right? There's the length twice. There's the width twice. So I just did a bunch of extra work. Bonus. All right, the constants. What's a constant? It's something that's not changing, like me being an awesome math teacher. And the only constants that I see are the 8. Why does this not like me today? 
8. That's the only number that I see. Oh, I lied. Negative 53 is also a constant. Bam, bam. Constants are just numbers that don't change. In the expression, negative 53 is a, we just talked about this, is a constant. Constants are just numbers because the value doesn't change. You have to do something to change them where variables can be just about anything. Combine the x terms. So you combine by adding. Some people say adding and subtracting. Personally, I just like adding positive and negative numbers. Easier for my brain. So we have a positive x and a negative 4x. Well, if I owe you, if I have one Xbox, but I promise to give people four Xboxes away, I have to get three more to make that right. So that means that I have negative 3x of these. Wait, what? Dang, I didn't even see that positive 6x. Oh, and there's some crying. There's a lot of kids in this house, I'm sorry. But that's what it is. Um, maybe I'll, I'll probably mute the sound here. And I'll put some type here. I'll talk over it. So, be, so I, that should have been, the last one should have been uh, 3x on the last one. That's what it should have been. All right, so if this is the perimeter, so they broke my, what I did earlier in this separate. So if you remember my answer from last time, I combined the W's, I combined the X's, and my answer would be this one. Simplify it. Make it as easy as possible. Take all those pieces of laundry, and instead of having all your socks in different piles, put all your socks in one pile. Um, so we have, list the term. So everything is a term. It's like every word in a sentence is a word. Every object in an expression. Every letter, every number is a term. Could you? Could do? Those horns are cool. Uh, combine the constants. So first identify your constants. I got negative 53 and 8, so that's going to be negative 45. My alarm's about to go off. I'm going to class. I hurry up. Um, list the coefficients on the x terms. Well, there's a 1, a negative 4, and a 6. Oops, I clicked the wrong one. I'm rushing. See that pressure? I wasn't paying attention. Should have been 1, negative 4, and 6, though. Uh, the variables are x and w. That's just the only the letters that you see in the problem. Uh, combine all the terms, write the simplified expression. Beautiful. So let's do that. So you get the x's. To get 3x, well, it's got to be this one, um, 3x, and then 3x, and then you combine the numbers, and the w, you get negative w minus 45. Combine all the things that are similar, and that's how you simplify an expression. And negative 4x is a term. It has a variable in it. It has a coefficient in it, but it's a term. See how I did. Phoenix coming back. Um, let's do this one because I know I, what I did wrong. The coefficients it was 1, negative 4, and 6. Got my redemption. Shout out Drake. It's a good song. All done. So I messed up on that one. So I love the data. Check this out. Figure out how long it's taking you. Go back in. So I'd be like, dang, I got this wrong. Let me look at it. Oh, that's what I did wrong. Take some notes. Put some stuff in your notebook. If you have questions, let me know. As always, thanks for watching. See y'all later.